Work, get it straight. Okay. Work, get it straight. Work, get it straight. I'm back again, round two. I'm catching clay, you dog food. Bam and down your block. I'm too hot for you lame food. Putting up that flame too. What I smoke is sour, dude. Go on. But that's that unemployment truck we're gonna see. We're gonna be employed in about 45 minutes. I'm not here. Huh? I'm in there. You don't want that unemployment truck to tell you, hey. Gotta let you go. But nah, x ray is not that bad, as I showed you on a uh, video a second ago. Don't be too scared of x ray. It's all about the cold, things like that. A lot of things play into uh, factoring in if you're gonna be uh, working for Diamond. Looking through the Diamond in the gate. <laughs> or what? But uh, yeah. Uh, unemployment truck. Work, get it straight. Okay. Work. So as we make the welds, they pretty much x-ray the welds. Every weld to come out the uh, fab. So this is what we're doing. Pretty much fabbing up all this stainless steel pipe. This is my work area. So we got a little work area over here. We're doing a bunch of stainless. It's a welder over here. We got Paul over there. You know, we got Kelvin in the house. Rolled on right there. And like I said, as we uh, make these stainless steel welds, these Schedule 10 welds, Whatever we welded, within a week's time, they ship it out, they ship it out behind us, and uh, x-ray them, make sure you're still good, and if you're not, they're going to pile you up on the back of that unemployment truck and get you on out of here. <laughs> but no, nah, that's the x-ray truck out there, like I mentioned earlier. But, um, yeah, and uh, it's a good thing to have the x-ray truck right near you. Because some jobs you work on, even though everything is x-ray, you may not bust an x-ray. The job may say, hey, if you bust an x-ray, just fix it. So from that point, as you make your root passes and your welds, you can determine what's tolerable and what's not. So you make a weld, you do your root pass, and you say, well, this looks a little suspect. You go get some advice from an expert welder or a more seasoned welder. You look in the pipe and he says it's good. You say, well, what about that? You say, don't worry about it. That's going to pass. You say, okay. I'm a little skeptical, but this guy has all sorts of experience. Let's see. And then they x-ray it, and then it comes back. It's good. Now you got experience. Now you know what will work. That's how it goes. So it can be a good thing once you, if you got x-ray uh, right on site like we have here. And that's one way I learned. I learned a lot of different ways, some harder than others, but uh, this is a for sure way, and uh, this is how this is how you can learn. We're gonna get on out here and make this well. So we're back in here this morning. The wells went really good. Nobody's on the unemployment line. Um, we're gonna go check them out and see what they look like. And uh, yeah, X-ray is not a bad deal. There's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to x-ray. Contrary to popular belief, it's just a certain things, certain things you gotta do, certain things you you uh, should avoid doing when it comes to x-ray. And uh, we'll talk about that. But uh, let's go check it out. Let's go see what we got. So yesterday again the x-ray truck showed up, x-rayed all this pipe yesterday, let's see exactly the markings he put on the pipe there. 
just look at some of the x-ray quality welds. So what I'm doing is just showing you what will pass x-ray. This is the cap. This is the finishing product of somebody's weld. Even a little bit of rust on the weld. You know that right there. Pass. Even if the world is not so pretty. You got file marks. It's not that deep, but at the same time, it's a fast picture. Well, we got the, uh, just here. I'm not sure whose world that is, but it don't matter. You got a little fish eye on some of the world. But it passed. That passed. So what I'm seeing now in the field is the quality of welds. The quality of the welds are kind of going down as the years dwindle. Moving on to, you know, I guess a different time space where uh, these new age craftsmen that's coming in the field are not really taking uh, pride in uh, their welds. As you can see, I mean, that past extra. This guy got. And whoever welded this, they're all kind of, I mean. Golden Arm, because you're good at what you do.